All right, I am picking up 20 minutes into the titled arena December 2021 with Dr. Championstein, a.k.a. Magnus Carlson. I played a handful of games in this titled arena and saw he was playing. So cut out <laughs> on a track, The Doctor. His latest handle, Mr. Five-Time Champion. Hello in the chat. So we're going to catch the final hour, hour 40 minutes of this one. Carlson is currently in fifth. All right, I think we're now squared away, so. He just lost that last game on time. All right, and dropped 68 points. <laughs> Still has a question mark for the rating. All right, so we should be getting another one anytime soon. I am following him. There we go. All right. I think we're all squared away. This is a last minute. A last minute thing firing up this stream. So we'll see how it goes. Currently in ninth. We'll have a look at the standings after this game real quick. Yeah, I, I see in the chat. He is... He's definitely a fan of the, the Steins. A lot of Steins for usernames. Drunkenstein, Nicterstein, Championstein. <laughs> the Doctor. All right, this knight coming into that D5 square is concerning me. These, these dark squares. Right. This knight have a, had a different idea. Knight B6 was watching over that D5 post. There goes the queen. And white resigned. So standings, let's have a look at them. He's currently in fourth with 25. In first is Vladimirovich, a.k.a. Uh, Dimitri and Draken. Okay, next opponent, N.M. Jasugi. Space for Carlson. C6 pawn is a bit soft. This bishop's going to have a tough day at the office. Big problem here. Superior structure for white. Good square for the knight, but it's offset by this guy. This is... I don't foresee this bishop really seeing the light of day. Bishop a5 can be a move. Not even allowing this possibility to open up a new diagonal. Rook e5 with what is the idea there? This rook feels a little misplaced. Might be trapped. I guess knight there, there's rook here. So bishop a5, no doubling on the d file. Tough to kick this bishop away. Space, maybe g5, though there is maybe a knight h4 move. Preparing to have the bishop on e4 soon. There could be some tricks in the end if there's a, a, a capture on d4. Really in the tank now, Team Black. Tough to find a way to improve the pieces from here. Queen exchange. Queen exchange, and now how are we defending this? Bishop c3, there's b4. So that's not a fun move to make. This rook is unprotected, so you can't take on this square. Changing the attention now to this. We're going to have the exchange of the center pawns. Still white is better. Ready to grab the knight and then the pawn. Uh, white managed well in this position. Uh, now this is going to be a win, even though it's opposite color bishops. I believe these two passed. These two passed pawns will secure the victory. Yeah, now this bishop is free to do whatever. Yeah, this king, the king is tethered to the defense of the pawn. Okay, Jasugi goes down. Carlson now in the sixth spot. So the other players, Rebecca Harris. Naroditsky, 
is in there. Min Lee as well. Um, I'm not sure who Wild King 91 is. Okay, I don't know who this international master is, but a very high rating. 29.57. Hello in the chat. Okay, we have a square here on d5. Isolated pawn. All three miners coordinated well. Queen's unprotected. G2. In the crosshairs, mm, problems now. Possible pins following up immediately. This knight, it's in the center, but it's vulnerable. You could take here. It's a resigner, I guess. This guy was in the seventh spot. He resigns. Where's that put him? Dr. Championstein, 31 with fire. Vladimirovich, not on fire. All right, we will see. Okay, next up. D4 incoming. Oh, running right into a fork. Is this... This can't be some theory, is it? What's the trick here? You have a fork if you defend the knight? Or if here, then is there some trick? Okay, trying to get out of this pin, first of all. Swipe the knight. And f3, king f2? How are we getting out of this? Okay, f4, king f2. Or that. Hmm. Okay. There's a trick here on f6. He's calculating it. You can always take here, and if king here, you do this first. It's taking like this. Two minor pieces versus the rook. A passed pawn. The king is cut off. Maybe you could get away with pushing, and then get to the rook, and get the rook to the seventh rank. He's down on the clock. Okay, this rook is really active, but there is coordination now. I think the Oh, the bishop right here controls all pawn breaks. Getting rolling with the kingside pawns. Taking away from the center. Keep a pawn passed. There's control over this break. How dangerous is this pawn? The king can stop it. It's not going to be easy. Yeah. Okay, they've been broken up. Oh, that's a nice move. Oh, another nice move. Not taking you. Drop the knight. So fast. And now the knight is there just in time to track this pawn down. King defends this. The bishop hunts that one to secure the draw at minimum. He's going to continue pushing. May down the spot. There we go. Okay. He's on a roll, keeping the fire in the second spot. 35. One win away from first. Performance rating so far, 31-21. Uh, he, I th this was probably, I'm not sure what day this was created. Probably, probably just hours ago, this account. <laughs> okay, Benoni structure incoming. Yes. Important for white to stop this 94 move. Frees up the bishop easily. A, so a soft spot here on d6. Queen is under fire. The bishop is under fire. Is this knight? There's some problems here with the knight. Isn't isn't the knight going to get tracked down? It's getting tracked down, so he's going to try and complicate. Where is the compensation, though? Not seeing it yet. Maybe a take here first. Yeah, the bishop can block. This is not going well for Team Black. King towards the center, two bishops. This guy is not contributing. It's the only hope. What's wrong with that? What's the follow-up? Bishop Block. Oh, they're supporting the queen there. Key defender, the bishop on g3. This is the glue to the position. There goes another piece. Uh, but then the rook would fall with check. 
<laughs> tricky, tricky. Black resigned, though. There is no crashing through on the G file, and these guys are animals. So the doctor goes down, and now he's faced, paired up against the wild king. The number six guy. That was a big loss. He would have been in the first spot. 39 points. So we will see. Yes, he is streaming right here. An hour 28 to go. So the knights stand well. This is a nice jumping point in G4 to free up the bishop. I guess B4 nearby. Where does the king feel safe? It's unclear. <laughs> I don't know if it's any safer on the king's side than in the center. In between her first, something can't take with the rook because there's rook takes knight. There's still rook takes knight. Oh, because you're on this one. So now we on the queen and threatening mate just out of out of out of out of the mate threat and the queen threat with queen g5. Minor pieces versus the rook. Fancy. Fancy damage the structure. Two bishops now versus the rook. Good coordination. Rook here would be met with rook to d8 check. So you're not, not winning the queen so fast. Good square for the bishop on d5. Soon. Yeah, capturing with the queen. There'd be some pawn race. Queen is really well placed, and now the rook is on the defensive. So only, <laughs> only after white is tied up to the defensive, c2, does black get rolling. Oh, there goes the passer. You could get a queen soon, but first centralization could promote. There are no perpetual checks. And back he goes, targeting c2. And this is mate. King is in a crossfire. The wild king goes down. Plenty of time in the tank as well. 8.02. 8.2. 37 he has. Uh, and Draken still in first with 43 and fire. I don't know if they've played yet. I missed maybe the first five or six games by Carlson. So we'll see. Nice to have this file. An early capture on G3 before castles. So trying to eventually get some tempo against this guy. There is some restriction. Still, this is a move. G5. Rook is unprotected. The queen's defending with that last move. This could have been a little bit irritating. Knight B5 as soon as the king, as soon as the knight went here. There goes D6. Ripping the heart out of the center structure. Now this knight is off the charts active. Rook D6. Something. Something bad is going to happen here. This is defended. Oh, is she dead? She has to go home. Oh, brutal. Sacrifices here incoming. Knight takes with check. Oh, man, G6 now. Brutal. Look at these pieces swarming in. Too much. And the pawn. You might as well count this guy here as an attacker. Where's the mate? Got a check and the follow-up. This is covered. Black resigns. Doesn't want to see anything further. Could always take the queen. Maybe that would be best. I don't see the mate here. Gets the W. Okay, this guy again. Their third, their third game is having a very good run. International master. Okay, what do we have here? This Chebaninko Slav, I believe it is. A quick knight to e5. A quick assault against c6. So this is a weak pawn. g5. Aggressive. No king knight around. So I wonder if that's a quick thought that runs through the doctor's mind. You know what? I don't think you could take advantage of these weaknesses. I'll be more aggressive. Create a flight square. A developing square for my bishop. Okay. So now keying in on the light squares. Ooh, ooh, that's a good spot. This is a resigner, I believe. The bishop's, the bishop's toast. So white is up a piece. Again, now we have knight here and mate. Oh no, the king is slipping out. Oh, but that's mate. Wow. 
What a run. This guy's blitz rating is 2809 currently. And now he's approaching 3000. Probably one of those GMs to be. Maybe maybe already a GM elect. Who knows? Maybe they have it in the profile. Okay, Min Lee. Bishop here is met with uh, D takes C. So now, do we take the queen and allow these double isolated pawns? No, we don't. How do we babysit this? Okay. That's how we're reorganizing. Didn't want to capture on d5. That's going to help straighten out white structure. Black still wants to play with this center, and now it is rolling. There is a pin here. Center is being challenged, though. This is a little uncomfortable for the queen, I believe. All right, white has picked up the bishop pair. Now maybe c5. Okay, doesn't want to see this majority rolling. There is, uh, you know, three versus two. Prep work for that. Now the knight. Its post is questioned. Will be questioned soon. Follow up fork. Could go back home to defend the bishop. No, he's okay with the doubled, the doubled pawns on the king's side. Queen on g4 should secure a lot of the the weak points. And now what? White is up the exchange. Heavy fire now on f3. This is a serious pawn. Ooh, still going in here. Bishop takes, and then rook up and over. These All these pieces are working. Knight takes on this square would have been good as well. Knight g4. Wow. Oh, so slick. This is now going to be hit three times, but look at the clock. You got you to gotta win by mate. Maybe taking there was better. Oh, this isn't going to go good. One position, but clock, 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 clock. The doctor got clocked on that one. 14 seconds up, Min Lee. A past winner of this event. And Draken still in the lead there with 55. Also, we have clever tactic but fail in there. Andrew Tang, don't forget about him. <laughs> Another past winner of this event. Okay, FM Rob 188. A quick assault by Harry the H pawn. The knight had to find a new home on G3. So what are we doing about this pawn here? A lot of focus on this in the early stage. Bishop c4 nearby. Pressure on f7 now. How are we defending this? Do we castle? It's defending with the queen. Oh no, the, the bishop was there as well to defend the pawn. So this guy. e4 under fire. Bishop pair for white. Knight is under control. And I believe that this is collapsing now. And this, this pawn is ready to rumble. Continue. Oh, brutal. Crashing through. Rook takes. You're going to pick up the bishop. Yeah, this is this is killing. I guess maybe there was knight here defending. Yeah. Knight having a field day here. E6, C5. Queen knifing in. Maybe a bishop enters. Taking the knight first and then this. You take with the pawn the king. Doesn't have access to b7. Brutal. Could offer a queen exchange. There is no taking the bishop. We have the pin and the time. Brutal. 31 to 9 in the end. Where is he at? The fourth spot. He's back. 14. Okay, this guy again. What was the opening here? It's looking like an exchange Roy Lopez. Okay, some space for a start on the queen side. Gearing up for f4, f4 on board. So now there's this point. So the last two games against this guy, Carlson ended up dropping a piece. Queen exchange, b2. I want to take b2, why not? Uh, maybe, yeah, I'm not sure why. why not that one. 
Okay, kingside broken up, a thorn pawn. Brutal. Look at that move. You get to recapture a check. Take my queen, I take your queen, and then this is all going to collapse. Okay, very active white rooks. There should be something here. Look at taking a timeout to preserve the b-pawn. <laughs> uh, how do you break this down, though? Clearly in a prevent, Team Black. But how do you smash through here? He's in the tank. You're running the numbers. Okay, not a fun move to make. Running in reverse like this. So the old rook up and over. You have to watch, watch out for the back rank. We have a thorn pawn here for Black now. So a good defender for the king also maintains pressure. This is probably a best piece in the position. Okay, so turning technical. He wanted to seal that pawn in there. Good move, I believe, by Black with d4, but the clock situation, a big, big factor right now. Doesn't want this pawn just yet. Working on the king position. This rook is tethered to the defense of this guy. And now this is getting broken down. Another thorn pawn. This is a game of thorn pawns. Game of thorns. <laughs> no time, though. Oh, my goodness. This guy's cruising. That's his third win out of four games. Impressive. Okay. He's in the second spot. The doctor. Having a rough stretch here. 41 still in first. And Draken with 57. Clever tactic, but fail. Andrew Tang. Here we go. What are we going to get? King's Indian defense. Let us see. This is a... This is very Fisher-esque to uh, have this messed up kingside structure. I believe this was even played at the with with a gambit, and losing losing this pawn. Fisher playing with black. What do we have going on here? Bishop ready to knife in. Queen H4, brutal. Oh. So this check king here, queen there, queen here. I guess queen h4, queen e1 is a good reply, the only reply. So he knows it. So he's taking the material. So now we have it balanced. No. I mean, it is balanced, but the dark squares. How do we feel about the dark squares? Can you stop this f4 move? Black can get, can get this grip over the dark squares. That's going to be painful for white. Clock. Oh, that's mate. Oh, no, the knight is covering that square. Good grief. All right. This guy's ready to move. That's why he didn't bite on e5. That would hurt. Under 10 seconds for Andrew, but he is the slipperiest player you'll find. Very, very slippery to beat him on the board almost every time. Four seconds. so fast uh, you could take that the bishop is there no stalemates no stalemates could have almost been a stalemate maybe right around there wow wasn't it 28 to 14 at one point in the end 1.1 to 0 he won that on time and position drop stone next where does that put him he's in the eighth spot has some work to do with an hour 15 to go Okay, what do we have here? Solid structure for white, bishop pair for black. Big gaps here in white's camp, so he gets out of that for starters. You don't want to see a knight anchored into d3. Really be asking for trouble. Okay, this is a passer. And it's it's a rolling. Is it gonna be hunted? Maybe hunted. Knight here, no. Knight d5, threatens the knight, threatens a possible fork incoming. The dark squares are very weak. If the bishop moves, the knight jumps in here, gets the material back. The queen does a good job securing the king. Knight there, and then knight here on c6, exchanging rooks first, and then knight c6, check. 
There's an unprotected rook here. Maybe you don't have to react to this threat just yet. Queen b3. Queen exchange and then rook d2. Queen, queen d2 straight away. Maybe here within this, but this is hanging and then there'd be a problem on f7. I don't think there's time to form the battery on the back rank. This knight remains on board. White securing the back rank. King sneaking over in a prevent now on f2. Exploiting the pin. Queen takes e3. Getting the queens off. Queen f3. Queen f3. Minor piece imbalance still. Knight now struggling. The queen guarding a lot of its squares. Doubled up on the clock though. The doctor. This one's going to be tough. Tough for dropstone. That's falling. Okay, this is secure. Now it's evening out on the clock. Oh, but there goes the queen. Both queens are now gone. Look at the look at the quick move retreating there. This is a one king and pawn ending. Fancy. Look at that. Triangulation. You gotta love it. Triangulation. Look at how quick that was executed. <laughs> both queens were toast there. And then we go down to a king and pawn ending. So slick. Triangulation. Okay. A game of Tempe. King and pawn endings. All right. Black has a pretty sweet center. Swiping the knight next. Looking to take here. The knight kicked away to the center. He's okay with giving up multiple pawns. If we have this, this here. There's a, there was a possibility to take with check, but there'd be a lot of pressure, I believe, against white. So he's getting out of any checks. There goes d4. And now queen here. There's bishop g3. You'd lose a bishop. Tempting, but bad. And now we have bishop takes f6. So this next up, no, is taking on b7 first. Queen exchange nearby. Bishop pair for team black. Balanced material. F2 in the crosshairs. What are we doing about this? Even after a queen exchange, there's a problem here. Maybe E3. Ooh, E3. Brutal. Take on this square? Not just yet. Knight there right away. Good that the king isn't on this square. Ooh, fancy. What's happening here? Can have a check and then rook here. Wow. So slick. Usually you see that with the queen and still in the home square and getting to H4, but... Yeah, there is that one as well. Maybe this, because you could defend like that. What was just missed there? Oh, there was a queen exchange. I didn't realize the queens were in tension. Gets the skewer. This is covered. Take the rook and then take the pawn? How does he want to do it? Oh, so fancy. Inserting some checks first. He wants to take with bishop. Oh, and if the king went over, it would have been mate. Time, time, time. Let's see how it goes. He's so fast. Down on time. The slippery Andrew Tang. Wow. Okay, Man Manchester United Pro again. Min Lee. Where does that put him? Where does that put him? He's in the seventh spot. Okay. Still an hour 10 to go. Are we going to get a comeback here? Wow. Let us see. The pin wouldn't have been a problem. There's always knight takes knight. It's hitting with check. Black is up a pawn. Black with the bishop pair. The more aggressive queen, but... Is there really enough attacking force? Each side, I think, wants to have their kings on g2, g7, and the rook on h1, h8. White has that in. This is a good defender. Okay, that's... That always feels like a, a bit of a dangerous pawn to take. <laughs> okay, he's going to get something here. How do you get out of this pin? I don't know if you want to really touch the f-pawn. Really weaken the... The second rank with still all major pieces on board. Okay, maybe queen back to e2. No, rook h4 defending the bishop. I don't know if you want to really double here, unless you could get a third major piece. 
on the H file, you're not really, I, I think in a way you're out of play. Rook takes pawn. I wonder what would have happened there. Maybe, maybe some bishop takes g3. I'm not sure. Okay, h file again. The clock. Last time it was 14 to 0. In favor of Min Lee. It's looking good position wise for white, being up now two pawns. I totally missed that that was even a thing. <laughs> yeah, white is, uh, white's up a couple pawnies. And now hunting f7. Oh, but the bishop is getting hunted. Min Lee taking a second game from the doctor. Bahadir Ozen. Wow. Long time since I've seen uh, Bahadir Ozen playing in one of these. Super duper fast player. Strong international master. 2861. Yeah, look at my score, by the way, too. 1 in 25. Crazy. Okay. A positional game. Big point here on c4. Better bishop. Cross the board. Two instances of fixed pawns. Okay, now we have a good knight versus bad bishop, and white in control of the only open file. The bishop tethered to the defense of the pawn. This knight, you can't really get rid of it. Rook d4, it's glued in with b3. Also c3, so we're transitioning minor piece specific ending. And I believe you could look forward to this. Maybe you take with the king so that you could get this in and then a passer. Yep, that's what he's shooting for. Outside pass pawn. It is on board. How do you win it? Go hunting this pawn. He was threatening knight there. So now the king is pulled away some. Pawn moves a little bit. The knight's going to recycle to where? Not here. Bishop has that. Jump around maybe here. Okay, knight on c4. King improving. You can't take. It's a one king and pawn ending. Was that knight maybe just up for grabs for a second? Was the were the king and bishop on that at one point? There's the bishop. Tricky knight. Does does the trick again. <laughs> this guy's time doesn't go anywhere. It's crazy. He's so fast. Wow, finally. An 83 mover. Five seconds in the tank. The doctor takes that one. Now in the eighth spot, 49 in first, and Draken with 69 and fire. That's going to be a tough one to make up. Okay, this guy again is in the third spot. International master, three to one so far for the IM. Let's go, Dr. Championstein. Let's see. Let us see. He's clinging to an extra pawn, but these are real, real killers, no? That C6 pawn problem here? How do you get out of this? Okay, I guess you could take here first. Wow. Ready to glue the bishop in? The A4? Two passers. These bishops. Killers. Up on the clock. There goes the queen. The queen was defending that. Wow. Yeah, this one's gone. Again, four... Four out of five games, one for this international master. Crazy. Okay, how do you convert this? We improved the pawns here for white. Get the king involved. All these are required to neutralize this configuration. So at any point, the knight could be captured, and then this, that was an opportunity for it. 
It's also paving the way for this with the queen on e4. 12 to 6 on the clock. Black just resigned. Knight takes queen. We promote. Wow. 4 out of 5 for that IM. Pushing the doctor into the 11th spot. Okay, in the chat, Chess Poems is saying this is some 15-year-old, that's why he's faster than Magnus. Is that true? Oh, yeah, I don't know what the story is with that, that player. Clearly, very strong play there. Min Lee is another super-duper strong IM who's up. What was it now? He's up two. Did he win the two games against Carlson as well? Okay, give me a break. And the break is F5. Oh, that's a big pawn to drop off there. Knight, not having the, the greatest the greatest time. Can I get this guy? Didn't want to take here because it helps out the rook. Crushing position, two passers. One is tracked down. And the other one, we got backup. We got a wave of pawns. Back rank mates. Back rank mate was there one move sooner. <laughs> I think. Maybe he's having a laugh at missing the back ranker. Instead, the pawn push. <laughs> that happens. Okay, where does that put him? Is he still on page two? No, back up to page one with 51. Still 20 back with an hour to go. Rebecca Harris in second, Matthew G in third, 65s. MSB2 next up. King's Indian attack. Okay. Oh, yes, I'm seeing uh, in the chat you're pointing out the material tracker. Yeah, I I took that off when I was covering the World Championship. Um, I could put that back on another time. Let's see, what's happening here? So a sack Aroni on h6. You take my bishop, I take your knight. We have queen here nearby. The bishop could come back to defend. Not a fun move by the knight. The queen, though, is she close to trapped? No, she isn't. She runs back home. Gets rid of the isolated pawn and now jumps on in. He is up a pawn. This bishop is unprotected. Queen has a responsibility. And this one's dead. There goes the rook. Oh, look, at, look at the fancy move. You know, I want to take your rook with check. Let's see if you're going to go to the back rank first. Oh, there'd be a perpetual, though. You can't take the rook so soon. The queen was on f2, so you had to secure this point first. <laughs> okay, now everything should be secure. Base points covered. Yep, that's going to do it. Boom, boom. We have an hour one to go. The doctor's in 10th with 53 and fire. It's been a while since he's hit a four. Woo. It's about 12 games since he's hit a four. N.M. Jasugi. I believe Jasugi was recently playing Crazy House. Some event. Crazy House. Was it a World Chess? World Championship Crazy House? Anyhow, he's a fantastic regular chess player, of course, and maybe an even even better Crazy House player, one of the one of the very best in the world. And is always up here. Page two, page one, it seems, more often than not. What's going on in this one? King's having a tough time. Are there mates? The knight can block on f3 if there's a rook check, so he just gets that right, right back. Now the knight is hit twice. The bishop is taking this one first, wants to take this next, and then this one. This one should be gone, though. I don't think he could get out of that. Up next is f5 can also think about taking here, and the bishop is defending the rook. All right, white throws in the towel. 
And he's in the eighth spot with 57 in first, 73. Matthew G, another one of those IMs. You'll see that I turn into a G not long off from now. I imagine. Okay. Big square here on D5 for white. These squares, the big difference. One is a hole and the other is not. Down a piece, he gets it back. There might be some tactic on this square, possibly. A bishop on E4. Maybe something on H7. The bishop wants to be on this diagonal. White king in on F7. Bishop on C4 soon. Perfect coordination for white. Bishop C4. The bishop's under control by the structure. There goes F7. Bishop c4, bishop on b3. To watch about this square, though. Careful now. Oh, so fancy with the back rank tricks. Look at that. Another fancy reply. I got the recovered. Oh, there goes f2 with check. Check on board. If the king went to a light square, the bishop would have been excited. This is secure on g3. That's a fancy move. Okay, clock situation, two to one. Fancy move, queen takes a2, the rook is still secure there. That's a big pawn, a really big pawn. You have to go for a perpetual or what? Facing mate, you have to take the perpetual. Wow. Okay, Matthew G, strong player. And quite the stretch. Wow, a lot of fours there. The doctor, where is he at? Now up against Blue Green Sun. He's in the seventh spot. All right. C pawn. Benoni. So that's C4 looking to distract the defense of the E4 pawn. A lot of space here for black. There are some gaps. Can they be, ex be exploited? The big one is c6. have to take some good care over that one. As soon as this knight moves, this knight will be excited about c6. Maybe ready to be offset. As soon as it jumps in, knight e5. We challenge this guy some way. No, first you push. Rook takes here. The knight can recapture and be defending the rook. Is there some other move? Okay, so... Queen is cornered. White is up a pawn. Big center here. Still very complicated. Tricks now with knight takes in this position if the rook was if the rook captured the pawn on c3. So this one is secure. Good coordination for white. A passed pawn. Team black here. Rook is now hit. The knight is jumping around. Maybe a2 falls. The bishop is gone. The a pawn falls. Two pass pawns. Three pass pawns. Bishop pair. No bishop pair. <laughs> Offering a queen exchange. Give me the two connected pass pawns. You could always block with the bishop. Oh, allowing the queen with check. There goes the rook. Two queens is too many. 11 seconds each. Blue green sun throws in the towel. Where are we at? 61, 16 back. Rebecca Harris now in first, and Draken right on his heels, Narditsky's heels. Who are we getting next? Oh, the slippery guy. Clever tactic but fail, Mr. Andrew Tang. Game number three. Okay, another line with this. Bishop takes on c3, excuse me, c6. Exchange, Roy Lopez. Okay, important to have this rook defended, queen d4. The rook goes into the pin voluntarily. Interesting, the knights are falling on good squares. The queen is way too invasive. Challenge, this is the best piece in the position. Gearing up for a4, and now there's c4 as a weakness. Big, big squares for team white. g4 supported by the knight. Excellent grip. Can improve the king soon? No, he's not going to have the h-file open up. I have control over the only open file. That's what he's saying. 
And now, where do we go here? How do we break this position? It's not fun for black to have to just go back and forth, but there isn't really a great way to improve. What's he looking to do? Maybe this. I'm going to try and target c5. Okay, knight f4. Can't, can't take twice. We have this pin. I'm not quite sure why that one wasn't played. Oh, the, the bishop has a move to defend the rook. Okay. Technical now. Doesn't allow the king to get to d5. He's going to try this square, though. King and pawn ending. How do we feel about the king and pawn ending? It'll be winning if the rook captures here. He would have opposition. Wow. Just barely. You don't want to take here. Problem there. Okay, hunting for pawns now. Who's going to win? The clock. The clock is going to be a big factor. The usual case. Time burners. Okay, he's hunting the rook. Seven seconds up. Andrew Tang throws in the towel. The doctor now in... Seventh with 63 and fire. 15 back with 53 to go. And Draken. Oh, so they must have played when I wasn't uh, streaming. One of those first five or six games that I missed. Ah, uh, that was probably his first loss then. I saw, I saw a zero and a, a bunch of wins in his first handful. Careful over the c6 square. Don't want to budge too soon with the knight. Now, if we're in a, uh, a minor piece, or excuse me, a major piece specific position, I like black. Notice not capturing here. This would be a really good square for the king. So we're getting this guy rolling at some point, h5. Okay, the, the, these major pieces are all finding pretty good squares. Now this is, this could be annoying to defend. And the rook is well positioned, stopping this break with h4. So how do we improve here? King up. Yeah, this should be a draw. I'm not seeing any progress now. He's going to try and open up. I mean, if anything, white is playing for something, I believe. Because these three pawns restrict these four, so there can soon be a passer on the king side. Yeah, this rook is really active now. White is clearly for choice. Uh, but there are a bunch of checks. Not going to be easy. Get behind this one. This guy could run fast. Threatening mate. Rook check king here. Okay, now we have a passer time i think you could you could time burn your way at minimum oh okay he's okay with this he knows that he could take him down to zero the doctor takes that one big game right here min lee the doctor's now in sixth 51 minutes to go what was this? A Scandinavian? Is that how it started? Scandinavian. Queenside castles. A2 is secure. This knight is securing F7. Now a trick. Ooh, within the queen playing here. And then the follow-up what? Okay. Okay, if the knight goes here, there would be C4. C4 anyway. Oh, killer bishops, man. With c5 nearby. There's also this one. If you take the pawn, Pinarones. Queen and knight cannot go too far. Okay. A check. You don't want to go to the go to the C file. You're asking for trouble. Keeping the bishop around. Trying to eliminate this guy. He's up eight seconds this time. Maybe the, the first time now he's up some time against Min Li. And there goes G7. Excellent position for white. Position-wise, clockwise. Yes, I was going to say flight square and a 
a ram. Is this guy toast? Could take here. Yeah, we could go into this ending up upon hunting this guy. No, he's taking this with check a resigner here. Uh, it's evening out on the clock. How much more do we play? Yeah, three connected passers soon. Min Lee throws in the towel. In first, Rebecca Harris, 82, 72, 82, 78. The doctor at 71, 11 back with fire, though. In fourth, the only one of the top, what, six with fire. Rebecca Harris, big game. Let's see what we get. Always, it always seems to be tactical with Mr. Narditsky. Let's see what type of position we get. I feel like if it's super complicated, it, uh, it usually goes in Narditsky's favor. Let us see. Well, how fun is it to have the king on D1? It's imbalanced. Structure-wise, bishop-wise, minor piece-wise. I think after c4 it gets c4 gets met with d5. Still trying to get this king breathing. <laughs> okay, the king's on d2. This is turn strategic. More, much more technical now. I don't believe you want to take the rook. Straighten out the pawns. Wouldn't mind seeing this. Now the knight wants to get to this square. Yep. So this guy is going to be hunted. The king is sealed off. Time. Not too much of a factor. One king and pawn ending. Insert the check soon. Maybe play this before that one. No, he's getting rolling here. Two passers, the king. Superior king position. Superior minor piece. He's down a bit on the clock, though. These guys could get rolling. Oh, he's picking up another pawn and going for another. Yeah, I don't know how much more there is to complicate. Oh, so fancy. He could afford to take that one out. And now it's too smooth a ride. He's going to play this one out still with seven. Nope, he resigns. Okay, so that's a huge win against the number one guy. Narditsky goes down. 84, the doctor with fire. 75, only 9 back now. 411 in here. Let's see. Next up, another GM. All right. What do we have? A killer bishop. Much better bishop for white. Majority for black on the queen side, but it is not yet felt as um, a positive, I don't believe. Uh, some rook c6 move may have been there, but I no longer think that with the pawn on e5. Maybe, maybe after this, planting a rook on c6, but for now, black has good control over this square and is hunting... Hunting the A pawn, but now there's a thorn pawn on H6. Possible battery, looking for mate. Some pressure on F2. There is F6 as a reply, a necessary reply. King ready to step up to G2. Meanwhile, these guys get rolling. This, with the capture, and then Queen E5 was nearby. So, sensing that, he wants to get the queens off, and now he has to watch out for this runner. Also the back rank mate. Okay, the bishops are covering the squares. Maybe just keep the tension. Okay, he's ca allowing that capture. Take this guy. Can block. Everything is now under control. Still no back ranker. Back rank mate. King slides over. Yeah, and they... Whoa, it's still covered again. <laughs> How quickly this is recognized. Look at the clock, though. Five to nine. Okay. Three seconds each. Two to one. Oh, he gets it. The doctor with the W, a big win. 
putting him in the number two spot with 79. He has quite the stretch here. 79 with fire, only seven back. Dr. Championstein, Min Lee. Next up. <laughs> oh, these are a blast. I love it. Okay, we got the break. I think after a chopperoni, there's knight, knight h5. Okay, d6. d6. Are we taking d6 ever? Is there going to be a trick here? The queen is hit. It's a problem on this square. This one's this one's gone, but this one's gone. Do we even want to take that pawn? No, we're we're safeguarding this guy first. Taking the knight next. Now we get to recapture with check and be defending our our pawn. This is under fire. Look at how many how many games this point is sensitive, right? This is the weakest point at the beginning of the game and very often even in an end game. That f7 square right next to the kings. 33 to 29 on the clock. Black up two pawns. Same color bishops. This is secure. A new flight square for the king. Offer a queen exchange. Okay, now h2. Careful about h2. Base points covered. Queen, perfect on this central square, guarding the king, guarding the pawn. We have some tricks. So fancy. Queen takes pawn, there would have been rook f1, and you'd end up losing the queen for a rook. Let's see the technique. Let's see the technique. A queen on this square or a queen guarding this diagonal. Both are good. There's the check. Yep, diagonal's covered, and the pawn is ready to go. King is secure, no perpetuals. Another win by the doctor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven games now in a row. Putting him in the second spot, only five back. Let's see, pressure on b7 now. Okay, e4 break. Queen is hit. Where does she go? There's going to be an unprotected piece here. There is right now. C6 can fall. You don't want to take it. Now he's saying, I want to see your knight move. Then I want to take here. Maybe there's some forks. Okay, bishop pair. Oh, what an animal of a bishop on G2. Doesn't even want to take that right away with some follow-up here. Now he wants the rook and he's getting the rook. Brutal. A resigner here. A resigner. Oh, sad day for that knight on b8. How does he do it? 87 now with fire. And Draken, this, this win right here puts him in first. Grunfeld on board. Okay. Take care over the dark squares now. White down the exchange, but has a super dangerous dark square bishop. Looking to break it down further with e5. Black. Sensing danger. Wants the queens off. No thank you. I have the safer king, White says. I want f6. Maybe this and then that. Or this and then that. No, not that sequence. The queen would be on f6. It's scary here. Very scary. Ah, oh, what a move. Bishop take. Oh, that's really sweet. Yeah, bishop take. There's a fork here. You're going to win a rook. However you slice it. Maybe end up getting mated. It's pretty bad. Okay, the doctor finally goes down. Not so fast. He is not in first. Rebecca Harris is, though, up five with fire. Narditsky. Okay. Where's the compensation? Okay, ooh. Here's the compensation. Well, you're getting the pawn back, and now a big question mark over the king. Where is your safe shelter? Okay, he's getting another pawn. Those two are hit. The technique. I think he wins these games 99 out of 100 times. Let's see. Oh my goodness, and did I just jinx him there? Wow, did he walk into that one. He gave away a free... This might be the one one game out of the hundred, then. <laughs> oh, man. 
Oh. Right, king f3. So natural a move. Right, you play that before some... Just get out of any pins. Address any, any threats there. The game is still live, though. Let's see. This pawn could be hunted. This is a runner, though. It's looking pretty dangerous. You don't want to take here. So get out of the way of the pawn and then push it. There isn't a mate over here, but now he's stirring up some trouble. The clock, clock, clock. There's a check here. You got to sacrifice a rook for a pawn soon. Throw in some time burners. Fancy. He's going with the other rook first, and now this guy is hunted. Four pawns. Okay, check first. I think he's going to take this one. It's not so easy for black. Wow. He, no, he might just be winning objectively. Holy smokes. He is. A queen is on the scene. Two queens on the scene. Made around the corner. Wow. Did he come back or what? <laughs> down a bishop who needs a bishop really i don't need that bishop <laughs> all right so that was still one of the 99 out of the 100 games okay 96 with fire narditsky the doctor back eight it's uh this is awesome seeing these guys all in here they're all so good such a competitive event and draken again and Draken up 2-1 to one against the Doctor in this tournament. Under 40 to go. Still unclear. I do not expect some runaway at this point. With only 40 minutes to go, it is way, way, way too competitive. Anything can still happen. Who is going to have the better nerves? Let's see. Okay, this does not make a great impression here. <laughs> These double isolated pawns. Um, yeah, this is a bit concerning. Very, very active. Rook to babysit the, the pawn here. There may be some accident on g6 at some stage. Slight edge on the clock. To watch out for this one. There's pins. How do we, how do we make progress? Do you try and play f5 here? How do you, how do you improve? He's doubling rooks. Feels a little scary. Like you're ready to get smothered mated. Okay. Okay, knight getting into d4 and then c6. Yeah, then this guy will fall though. There, there need, it feels like there needs to be some trick here. Maybe, maybe this with this at some point, but I believe f5 will be met with g5. Still have to watch out for this. If this knight goes too far, knight g3 could land. So after a bishop move, a capture here within this, maybe nearby. He doesn't want to budge with the bishop. The knight has a big responsibility of negating the knight on h5. He's under 10 seconds, 13 for team black. Pressure on f3. It is secure, though. The knight's pouncing. One of them is gone. Queen takes h6 with check. Both. No, there's, he's up with the queen. He's threatening mate. Rook b6. You have to go back. He only has a second. Did he have mate? He has mate with 0 0.03. Oh my goodness. Can you believe that? That's ridiculous. <laughs> 0 0.03. <laughs> 100ths. 300ths of a second. <laughs> what a game. Okay. 100 for Narditsky. A huge game right here. 35 in change remaining. <laughs> that was a ridiculous game. Okay. Oh, what is this one? Uh, another Ray Lopez, a uh, Schleeman? Is that what this one is? The quick F5? Schleeman land? Okay, is he, he prepared to go queenside. Black. No, he's going kingside. As soon as the bishop tried to neutralize the pin and get out of the pin. The knight looking for this square. That would have been a, an annoying pawn to work around, so... Gets rid of the F-pawn and now an isolated pawn. What is happening here at some point? Are we going to have this break? Wow. Takes a timeout just to swipe a pawn. And now he's going to win the exchange or the queens are going to be off. So he'd rather have the white up the exchange than to enter a, a technical position. In, uh, an equal position where you're just down a pawn. So 
complicating complicating it as best he can, Team Black. Down on the clock. Team White. Oh, so quick. I could afford to give up my queen. I'll get yours back in just a hair if I could draw, draw a line. Okay. Complications, complications. Still up the exchange. There's a check here. The knight, if it, got, if it dives in, it'll be trapped. After king to g2, another bad line. Outside pass pawn at some point. Fancy knights. Careful, careful. A knight right here could be dangerous. He's setting that up possibly. No, that pawn is pinned. The rook is hit. There goes the B pawn. Seven seconds. I'm going to give this one to Naroditsky. The clock. The clock. Oh my goodness. Four seconds. He's so quick. One second, it's not going to be enough. Nope. Naroditsky takes that. A big, big win for Naroditsky right there. The doctor isn't in second anymore. Dropstone in the two spot. 102 with fire for Naroditsky. Rebecca Harris. Still a lot of tournament to go. 33 minutes. Okay, he's pared down quite a bit. No first, second, or third page opponent. International master in the 39 spot. All right, let us see. Space invader. Pawn on e4. Okay, giving up the dark square bishop. f4 now. This is feels like it is already absolutely crushing. So that space invader pawn has been challenged, but now there's a weak link on e3, and I'm not so sure you're getting rid of it. Look at the grip these guys have over that square. Absolute monster of a bishop. Queen g5 nearby. How do you even deal with that? Got to run for the hills. <laughs> h2 is the hills. Yeah, there's no surviving that bishop. He resigns. The doctor with a pretty quick win, 93 now. Rebecca Harris still in a game. No easy games. Min Lee is his opponent. Min Lee up on the clock there. 32 to go. Fig Lude. Next up. Let's see. Queen's Gambit accepted. Is that what it is here? All right. Structures the same. Gonna offset this guy right here, one of the better pieces in the position. Is this guy going to get rolling? <laughs> Bishop says not so fast. Also stops any rook c1. Might have been a dual purpose move. Maybe a knight on b5 at some point. Okay, safeguard first. The second rank. Rook having a little bit of a tough time. Oh, is the bishop here? Wouldn't bishop there have trapped the rook? I think it would have trapped the rook. <laughs> bishop c3. Okay. The game goes on. The knight is dancing. Yeah, I think that guy was stuck for a second. Okay, not no, not anymore because the the apon has stepped up. So we have some checks maybe. You have to watch out. Yeah, there was a mate threat. Rookie one. Can you spare a square? So minor piece ending. The king is boxed out with the knight and pawn here. Is there is there progress on the king side? And it's shut down on the on the queen side, so we try our luck on this side of the board. Uh, this is secure as well. Uh, and he is going to get this. Now, is the attempt going to be to capture and infiltrate? Yes, it is. The king has to probably come back? Yeah, it's too risky to go here. This check in here just in the nick of time. Look at this guy. So slippery. Fancy, fancy, fancy. One king and pawn ending coming up. Wow. Okay. With the W, the doctor, 95 with fire, 96 with fire, drop stone, 106, Naroditsky, still with fire. Benko gambit declined, I guess, with queen c2. Not a gambit in this case. So white doesn't want to see the A file open up so easily. Chop A6. So... Nice pressure on the queen side. 
Yeah, now this pawn. Well, this knight isn't so great. White breaking in the center. It's prepared maybe to... Okay, now I was going to say maybe prepared to recapture with the knight and put pressure on c4. Pressure on this square now. d6 is vulnerable. How are we defending that? Do you need to defend it? it is defended. It's in the center now. Are there tricks? Are there a sacrifice here? You can't move the knight. There'd be made on h7 trying to neutralize this rook. There goes the rook. Can you afford to take this pawn? Oh, skewer. It is defended by the knight, though. Yeah, we're going to have the queen take the pawn directly. Maybe insert a check. Takes it directly. This is a super dangerous pawn. White playing for, it seems, uh, two re seems like two results. Defends the knight. It's ready to run. This is a dangerous pawn. Don't let it get here. No good checks for the white queen. This is also under control. The knight improves. We take here, take here with check. Clock time's about even. Still keeping a watchful eye over this. He missed this one with check, and now this pawn is able to advance. White is going to win this. This is secure. The knight could grab the pawn. He's getting a queen first. I'm not sure why, because we're going to have this as a follow-up after queen. And you get the knight. We'll probably have a resigner. Yep, doctor goes down. And a quick pairing. Narditsky up 15. Andrew Tang, next opponent. That's going to be a tough one to overcome. 15 points down with only 28 minutes to go. Who man. Let's see. Light square bishops. Gonzo. This is a half-dead pawn. A knight on c5 now. He's, he's going to pile up first and now expand in the center. With this majority. All right, we're getting c5 in. Are there tricks? This is secured by the knight. So capturing first, only then taking here. It's a dangerous piece. Hitting the rook, hitting the bishop. White's winning some material here. How much is the question? He's getting the exchange. Or is there some, some tricks here with the queen getting here? Not just yet. Knight has some pressure on it. Don't go too fast. Maybe give up c8 there. Still pressure on d6. Black has a majority, but I don't think he can get it rolling just yet. a4 would drop b4. There's pressure on the bishop. No good solution here. Yeah, he's ready to take the bishop and then take the knight. And if the knight moves, this rook enters. Big problems here. Okay, Andrew Tang throws in the towel. The doctor moves up to the two spot. 13 back, does not have fire, needs to catch fire soon in order to make a run. Dr. Championstein. All right, let's see. Grunfeld-like, seems. So what do we have? Queen exchange, rook recapturing. Sea pawns likely to fall. Okay, and now isn't isn't there going to be the win of the exchange? Bishop takes. Okay, now there's bishop takes h6. So fancy, but no, still in the end, this fork is present. And he's winning the exchange here. Check. Yep, and now this is this is Gonzo. Yeah, this will not be a I'm going to stay away from winning the 99 out of 100 games. <laughs> um, you know, let's see. Phase one is what? Glue that pawn in there. Oh, pivot square. That's the plan. Pivot. It's it's a little... It's a little scary. Over Okay, the king is going to get this pawn. No problems once this pawn is gone. And at some point there can maybe even be the capture. All right, he's ready to get behind. Wow, now he's cut, he's paving the way for the king to approach. There goes the bishop. Now this pawn's ready to run. Plenty of time in the tank. Okay, resigner. The chameleon goes down. The doctor now has fire, but so does Narditsky. I think we're getting that game. Narditsky just finished. Here we go. Huge game. If he's going to make a run... This is almost like a must win. You're only going to get about 12 more games in there. 
Okay, let's see how it goes. Is there going to be any problem here? There should be enough time to get development in. We're in an ending. Nice rook activity for white. Uh, he's hunting this pawn. How quick that decision, right? You can't take twice, though. There's a trick on the end on h7. So he's saved the pawn, the loss of d4. Okay, you want to maybe get out of the pin? Not just to any square. Okay. So he's down? No, he's not down a pawn. Okay, so can he convert this superior ending, strong knight versus bishop? Yeah, if you, okay, so no rooks on board. The king's going to try and snake around here. Yeah, white could put a hole, punch a hole into this square. Oh, he could try to put, bring the king over here now. Put the king right here. All right. Okay, he's going to hunt that pawn. One way or the other. And it is a one king and pawn ending. If we get there, 23 apiece. Not easy. Not easy. As soon as this knight moves, the king approaches here. I think it might be objectively a draw. Not easy at all. Oh, he wants this in, and then he's going to go after this pawn. Very nice, the timing. Very nice. Okay, what kind of magic are we going to have here? This should be a draw, but that knight, so dangerous. Both players could win. He's getting the queen. He's going to take this one. Four seconds. Just do some time burners. Check and then mate. Wow! 22 minutes to go. A big win. No fire for Rebecca Harris. 103. 15 back, though. How do you come back? Down 15 with 22 to go. We're going to find out if it's possible. Michael, international master. In the 41 spot. Oh, man. Okay, so some queenside pressure. Down upon. Team white down upon. This knight far away from the d4 square. Going to break this down. Up next, this one. Now hunting the bishop first. Can you take here first? No, you're playing f3. Wow, what a fancy sequence. Doesn't want to take the exchange. He's going after this one. Oh, bishop takes f3. Might have been a miss there. I don't think this one's... Okay, he's carving out a square on f5. And that's a good start. Check first. Queen enters. Hmm, you don't want to allow a queen exchange there. Yeah, this is covered. I don't think this one's going so well for Team White. Down on the clock and position. Tricky night. Yeah, everything's covered. This is this is going to be a really good defender against any checks, too. Bishop, not such a good defender. We have checks here. Uh, the bishop is going to block. Now Now white could have some fun. The knight can block, though. Again, covering these nice checks. You take here. The queen's going to take on e4. Now the queens are off. This is winning for team black. Uh-oh. A setback here. Yep, he throws in the towel. Doctor goes down. Big loss. Narditsky loss. 103, still back that 15. No fire, though, for either. 20 minutes to go. Okay, Andrew Tang. Andrew Tang could still make a run. Number three spot. Let's see. Doesn't want to have isolated C pawns, double isolated. Okay, centralized queen. 
Where's the knight go? You have to exchange queens first. Is he calculating this? And some maybe some trick on e3 there. Okay, the knight is covering c2. Uh, what a cool sequence. I guess this is forced, right? You have to allow this. Okay. Gonna take right away or bypass? Bypass. He's gonna try and win this one in a hopefully a, a simplified position. Look at these in-betweeners, man. A lot of in-betweeners. Okay. Oh, back rankers. Look at that. Each side with a pass pawn. Soon, as soon as there's a flight square, this is going to be dangerous. Two rooks combined with this pawn and bishop somehow influencing the position. White wants to get one rook off. Oh, he's ready to hunt this pawn now. That was slick. And he's going to be on the bishop. This one's under control by white. Uh, winning, I'm not so sure. You have to watch out for bishop c4. Nice move. As soon as king g3, there's h4. Yeah, once more. There's always this, this trick. So maybe you take here and then go after the pawn. Oh, the king is marching. King stepping up is, is met with that one. Okay, he's getting this pawn. Wrong color bishop. Just have to take this pawn. Yep. He's going to be able to get a draw. Andrew's way too fast. Yeah, stalemate on board. Can't win that one. Oh, you could only win on time, but I don't see how you win on time against Andrew Tang in that ending. It's too easy moving the king to the corner square in G8. So, still back 15. Not in a game yet. Narditsky lost three of the last four. Drop stone next. 17 to go. He needs to make a run right here. Running out of time. Eight games remaining. Nine, ten at most. We'll see if there's any quick games in there. Bishop pair for black. Better structure for white. This move can be pretty irritating. A knight on h5. There's no king g7 and there's pressure on f6. The knight lands... Okay, here there's no tricks. The king can step up and defend the bishop. But now this is nearby. Pressure on f7. Not fun to babysit like this, but what can you do? <laughs> this one, it's not a secure home. There's f4. Okay. Oh, that's fancy. Maybe, maybe take the rook and then go for c4. No, he's still going to guard the back rank here. Is bishop takes pawn a move? I wonder if bishop takes pawn was maybe a move there. Or was that rook still hanging? I I, I don't recall. <laughs> oh, that one's so slick. Go ahead, take my bishop. Okay. Black is going to take this one. This is secure. Connected passers. No issue on the clock. Wow. There go two f pawns in a blink. Can rattle the bishop. Go here. Start pushing these guys. The bishops can watch over that one. Yeah, and from here, boom, boom. This guy's not scary enough. He's not going over here so that you don't uh, end up in some... Well, it's not a mate. He could go either direction with the king. He gets that one. Pretty fast one. It seemed like Narditsky just got two wins. Okay, we have Narditsky here again. Narditsky wins this. He's going to win the tournament. That's where we're at. With his lead, he has fire. Looking at a four with a win. Oh, must... I, I'd say this is this is a must win. If the doctor's going to take first. Has to win. And if Rebecca Harris wins, he wins the tournament. Let us see. The queen trapped? Oh my goodness, the queen is trapped. <laughs> oh, okay, he's going to complicate. No, he's not. A quick resigner. Whoa. Dr. Championstein says, hang on. <laughs> He's still 15 back, though. He's still 15 back. He does have fire, though. Does have fire. He caught fire in the world championship, Dr. Championstein. After that round six game, he caught fire. <laughs> that marathon game, seven hours, 45 minutes, game six. 
Okay, let's see. He's paired against the number 15 guy, FM. The old rook up and over, Rover. Bishop here could be challenged with knight g4, c4. I like knight g4. There's no backing off to f2. A big thing there for team white. How are we, how are we dealing with this? Sweep the leg. This is covered. Okay, this, this rook is in a pin. Bishop recapturing this knight now. Problems. Oh, interference. Interference. Could take the knight with check and then take here, offer a queen exchange. I think we're going to have a resigner. A resigner, that's a pretty quick win. Maybe just a minute came off the clock there. 112 to 123. He's back 11. He could still do it. Clever tactic, but fail. Hang on. No easy games. Andrew Tang is waving his finger. Not so fast. Not so fast. But so far, he's having a, a good result against Andrew Tang in this one. Four to one. Let us see. The bishop pair for black. Better structure for white. Majority for white on the king side. A problem on c7. Okay. Double rooks. Get out of the pin. And we're still looking at this one. You move the pawn. That's going to be painful. How do, you, how do you get out of this situation? Knight here is going to hit even harder now. Maybe you have to give up the bishop first. No, opening up the bishop's eyes. He's getting the exchange. Oh, might have a resigner. Another resigner. That's a pretty quick win and a fast pairing. 116 to 123. Definitely within reach. He's only back seven with 12 minutes to go. He's threatening mate on f7. Queenside castles again. So he he played this last time against Min Lee. Yeah, it was a, a Queenside castle. Bo both players went Queenside castles. All right, let's see. Not going to go Queenside this time. Kingside play. First centralize. Have to watch out for some tricks here. There's not yet a pin on the B file, though. This is excellent for white. These pawns are way too far advanced. Oh, Queen takes Knight. Queen takes knight, no bishop move with check. King's on b1. C2, c4 is going to fall. This is excellent for white. Queen takes e. Problem on this square. Watch out for this. Watch out for this. Game over. Game over. Queen moves. Queen takes h7. Another fast win. I felt like three wins within two minutes. 120 with fire. 125, Rebecca Harris. Less than 12 to go. <laughs> Oh, man. Okay. Let us see. Dimitri GM, a candidate master in the 14th spot, having a very good tournament in this stacked event. Knight on b4, that's ruled out. If pawn takes, you could have captured here and then won the pawn. Now there's g2 under fire to watch out for this at some point. Are there some checks now against the king? A little airy over here. Some dark square weaknesses. He's going to try and get out, uh, take over the file here. There's a check. And now we have this coming up next. Nope. Not so fast. Okay, it's a little uncomfortable here, right? Not so easy to defend. He's flicking in f5, and now he's, he's getting at this. So instead of going into some defensive posture, he's activating the bishops, and now he has a, a more active rook. Glue this structure in first. Now he's improving the king here so that you have this one. Oh, now the rook is kicked off of this rank. Okay, he still has this pressure. Now, now the rook cannot be kicked off. Plenty of, plenty of ways to move along this uh, fourth rank. And he's punching a hole for the king on h4 or f4 in this case. He could win this pawn. Yeah, this should not be a tall task at all. Up on the clock and a one rook and pawn position. Look at the rook defending both pawns from this post. The king mops this pawn up. Maybe you don't want to take here. You boxed out a little bit. Now, maybe even could have snuck over. Don't fall for mate. And it's important that that one's landing with check. Okay, there's no time for team white. Where does that put him? He's only one point back. With nine and change remaining, wow, Rebecca Harris in a game against 
Andrew Tang, who berserked him. Who? Okay, this is to put put himself in first with still plenty of time to go. Dr. Championstein. Is he ready to do it? I think he's ready to do it. <laughs> he's on fire, man. In many ways, he's on fire. Okay. He's okay with giving up that pawn. Okay. On the rook, on f7, the bishop has to return, but then there's that. Oh. Oh. Brutal. Crashing through here. Another resigner. Just like that. Look at that stretch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven in a row. 128 with fire. It's not over, though. Rebecca Harris still around, only a point back. A, a berserker. No berserk back. MSB2. Now down upon. Wow, he's going to take this one. I don't see. How do, you, how do you win? How does MSB2 win this one? Down upon and down on the clock. This knight, usually a pretty pretty good piece on that c6 square but it's it's under control this knight is a convenient defender now it's now it's kicked away down a piece now team white a piece and a pawn and the knights are pouncing no fancy checks for the knight retreat some defense this is a useful move. There might be some accident happening on d4. That's the only hope. There goes another knight. We got back rank. Problems for team white. Just cover all the squares. No. Nope. No soup for you. Cut the... Cut them off. Exchange queens. Push through. The resigner. He's running away with it. He's now up five. How did that happen? Wow. Eight in a row. He's a wizard. He's a champ. Five-time champ. Drop stone next up. From Russia, I believe. Drop stone. GM from Russia. This is a... This is an interesting structure. Uh, this is a sensitive point. Usually white tries to influence this pawn. Oh, that's so fancy. Look at that. Taking advantage of the unprotected bishop. Slick queen move. You can't take here. You drop the bishop. If this pawn moves, you give up this square, but you may make this guy budge. If this is ever a hole, this knight wants to get there. A bishop, a rook, anything really wants to get to this square. But now look at this guy. Wow glued in on e4 he's a pest there might be some some tricks like this a mate a queen on h4 since this bishop's controlling b1 centralize the rook now the knight is pouncing still there could be some tricks now i'm not seeing it anymore with this bishop around on b3 doesn't seem realistic queen guards uh the king i don't know if you want to take this too soon Maybe he's looking at the back rank stuff. Mate, mate threat on uh, B1. How are we stopping that? Bishop here. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. I'm cutting out your flight square. Now the king's going to go for a walk. Is he getting mated? Check mate soon here. Possibly. Oh, mate next. Check. Check mate. There we go. The doctor. Killing it in the end here. Is that nine now in a row? 136 with fire, five minutes to go. No pairing against Rebecca Harris, who is in Berserk land. Got to win with the Berserk. I saw three there. Still, anything can happen. One little slip up and a couple berserk wins by Narditsky, and he could come right back. So, giving up this square. 
Space Invader Pawn. Looking to take on f6, a check. Flush the knight back and then take here. Knight takes f6, has arrived. No rook g8. Okay, in the end, how do we assess this one? This is better for white. Majority on the king side. Fancy. It's a one king and pawn ending. It's not a big deal to have double isolated pawns. He cannot go into a king and pawn ending, but he does. These pawns, these three pawns kill these four. Huh. Okay. That made life a lot easier. Thought you needed to keep the knight around to try and work some magic. Yep. Watch out for the tricks. <gasps> he could have got tricked there. If king here, he was in pre-move mode with this. If the king went here, he was, he was, he pre-moved that. He would have got stalemated. Oh. Okay. Wow. Seven. That would have been a big deal. Okay, hang on, hang on. Next game. Okay, he's up seven. But he would have only got two. And he would have been only up five at this point. So maybe losing this game, Narditsky winning with the Berserk. Okay. This one looks to be going in Team Black's favor. Is the queen going to get trapped? Opening up a square. Oh, he's going to have to play two minor pieces. Oh no, he found a way out with that check. Fancy. Yeah, that king is on f1. Not so fast. <laughs> I wanted to quickly just take the two minors. Okay, now an excellent queen up the exchange. The king is going to find security here. Not so fast. Bishop h3. No bishop h3. Doubling rooks. Still need a flight square for black. Two minutes, 40 to go in the tournament. Even on the clock, 32 apiece. Okay. And now what? I'm going to have exchanges. I think you want to just get rid of these guys and then you'll have access to the king. Okay, he won that one. So it really wouldn't have mattered if that one, that previous game ended up in some stalemate. He's now up 11. He was down 15. What, maybe just 12 minutes ago? And now he's up 11. Two minutes to go. What a come from behind win. Manchester United Pro, the the game, the, the final game for this tournament, I imagine. Let us see. So we've had this position before. I think it was their last game where they had this one. Black playing with the better center. Can this guy get rolling? Let's see. Bishop's eyes are opened up now. So if you challenge, it's opened up further, but I believe you do have to eventually challenge this point. When is that going to happen? Queen, not so comfortable. Okay, a new square is produced with b5, multi, multi-purpose. Prepare to have some minority attack. Vacate b7 for the queen. There's a fork now. Oh, that e5 move hit hard. So he's now up a minor piece. One minute to go. This may not count for the tournament. Let's see. Still up the piece. Down on the clock a little bit. Knight is in a pin. Could exchange knights. Queen here. Everything's still defended though. How do we get out of this pin? Okay, glue these guys down. Okay, now you pick up this pawn, and now the conversion. The conversion, the queen could block. We're going to have a resigner. 23 seconds remaining, looking at mate here. He's going to just play this one out, Min Lee. Or resign. He resigns. And that right there is the final game. Oh, man. What a stretch. In the end, how many is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 wins in a row to take the titled arena December 2021, the final tournament of the year. Dr. Championstein takes first. Magnus Carlsen, new account.
a familiar result. Rebecca Harris, Daniel Narditsky taking second with 136. Fantastic tournament for him. And also, clever tactic but fail, Andrew Tang taking third. Fourth spot, Dropstone. Fifth spot, Arsene. All GMs, the top five, and those are your money winners right there. Okay, let's have a look at the first, uh, let's check out the top 100 for this event. See some of the other competitors. There's your page three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. That's your top 100. What an awesome event. This is a blast to track. Good games all. Awesome.